This is the city we love and the game we believe in. And together, we are all Cleveland Guardians. Oh, God. Okay, it's so weak. It's so weak. It's so weak. I'm sorry. There are a thousand better team names than the Guardians. The big culture war moment of the day is that the Cleveland Indians, you know, like the baseball team, they have now renamed themselves the Cleveland Guardians for no reason. In the same way that the Washington Redskins renamed themselves the Washington football team for no reason. In 2016, for example, the Washington poll, the Washington Post actually did a poll of Native Americans about the Washington Redskins in which 90% of respondents said they were not offended by the team's name. So, um, yeah, how, how many Native Americans were deeply offended by the name Cleveland Indians? Honestly, like, I've always found this completely bizarre. If somebody wanted to create a team called the New York Jews, that would be amazing. Like the New York Maccabees or the New York Jews, I'd be like, I'd buy all the gear, right? Like, let's say it was a football team. It'd be like the New York Jews beat the New Orleans Saints. Sounds incredible. Like, I'm wondering where is the downside here? By the way, you know what the Cleveland Indians were originally named after? Supposedly or allegedly, the Cleveland Indians were originally named after a guy named Luis Sacalexis, who was of the Penobscot tribe of Maine, an actual Native American. He played for the Cleveland Spiders at the time from 1897 to 1899. And he was so popular that they kind of changed the nickname of the team to the Indians. And then they were the Spiders for a while. And, uh, and then they changed their name to the Indians, apparently because both they wanted to mimic the Boston Braves and also because there had been sort of this, this upswing in interest in Sock Alexis, who played for a couple of years for the, for the Cleveland Spiders. So uh, honestly, like, of the problems that afflict Native Americans in American society, the name Cleveland Indians does not rank. And by the way, the Atlanta Braves will be forced to change their name and so will the Kansas City Chiefs and, and everybody else. Be, everybody will be named after an animal until, which t until such time as we realize that this is being mean to, to various species. And we stop that. And then we'll just name people after colors, right? It'll be like the Cincinnati Reds and we'll have like the St. Louis Blues. And, but all the teams will just pick a color. So the, the unlucky team, it'll be like the Cleveland Fuchsia. It'll be like the St. Louis Mauve. It'll be very exciting stuff. Fixing America's problems, one team name change at a time. They got Tom Hanks to do the voiceover, which means, of course, it's all American. They're called the Cleveland Guardians. Yeah, not, not fantastic. The Cleveland Indian, by the way, their, their logo, basically all they did is they just substituted gar for in, in guardians, right? Indians, guardians. It made it, I guess, cheaper for them to print their merch. So here's a little bit of, of what Tom Hanks was voicing over for the Cleveland Guardians. Terrible name. We hold tight to our roots and set our sights on tomorrow. And this is our team that has stood with our city for more than a century, from Old Municipal to the corner of Carnegie. A team that has seen its own progress and prosperity. Its history flows like the river through the heart of this city. A history that has given us miraculous moments. Moments that spanned years and others 22 games. Moments that broke barriers and moments that broke hearts. Moments that prove this is more than a game. We remember those moments as we move forward with change. You see, it has always been Cleveland that's the best part of our name. And now it's time to unite as one family, one community, to build the next era for this team and this city, to keep watch and guard what makes this game the greatest, to come together and welcome all who want to join us. We are loyal and proud and resilient. We protect what we've earned and always defend it. Together we stand with all who understand what it means to be born and built from the land. Because this is the city we love, and the game we believe in. And together, we are all Cleveland Guardians. Oh, God. Okay, it's so weak. It's so weak. It's so weak. I'm sorry. There are a thousand better team names than the Guardians. The Guardians. The prison guard. Like, what, what, are the, what are the words that pop to your mind when you hear Guardians? Like, the only good one is Batman. Like, Silent Guardian. Or Silent Protector, or whatever it is. Cleveland Guardians. And again, all they're doing is they're trying to look for the homonymic 
relationship between Indians and Guardians there to try and get them through this. But yeah, the Cleveland Guardian. I, I love when he's like, the history of the Cleveland Indians team is incredibly important to the city. So important that this team name will now be changed. By the way, the, the club, the Cleveland Indians, has a lot to be proud of. They were the first American League club to integrate. So Jackie Robinson was the first baseball player to integrate the major leagues, but the first American League team to integrate was the Cleveland Indians with Larry Doby and Satchel Paige. So that, that's like a cool legacy, is it not? Has there ever been an implication that the Cleveland Indians name was chosen to mock Indians, as in Native Americans? No, but once again, it's all performative virtue signaling. And then when you notice, when you notice that there's an attempt to paint everything as historically racist and necessary, necessarily changing. When you paint it that way and then people say, well, you know, that that's kind of weird and unnecessary. People are like, why are you even noticing? Why do you even care? I care because you cared much. Uh, you cared enough to change it. In the same way that I cared in, when, when you changed the name of the Washington Redskins, because if you cared enough to change it, I care enough to wonder why. How about that? How's this for a title? Ben Shapiro Show subscriber destroys like button with clicks and logic. I'd watch that. Make it happen, gang.